So we're going to move on in this song now on to the second and third verse in this lesson. So in the first verse, you know, the woman is speaking and she said, if I had my choice of the three men, which of them would I choose? So in the second verse, she's going to tell us who her first candidate is for her to marry. So she says, ni fo sing fein on tiesgere. What that means is, I would not marry the fisherman. So I'll say that whole, and, and you repeat that, on tiesgere, on tiesgere. So I'll say the whole line so you can hear it. Pause and write it down phonetically. Ni fo sing fein on tiesgere, on tiesgere, on tiesgere. And again, quite similar in the second line. Ni fo sing fein on tiesgere. And then the second part of the second line. Mar bien she fluch go vosta. I'll say that again. Mar bien she fluch go vosta. And what that second part of that second line means, the, she's giving us the reason why she does not want to marry the fisherman, and she says it's because he would be wet up to his waist from fishing in the sea or from standing in a river or a lake fishing. So that's the reason she gives and she thinks is acceptable not to marry the fisherman. So I'll say those two lines once more. Ni fo sing fein on tiesgere, on tiesgere, on tiesgere. Ni fo sing fein on tiesgere, mar bien she fluch go vosta. Okay, great stuff. So let's try now and sing it and you can hear where I put in the ornamentation and you can try do the same at home. Ni fo sin fein on tiskere. So the word fein and tiskere. And again, it's just a small little half a note um, of a kind of an ornamentation. Ni fo sin fein on tiskere. On tiskere, on tiskere, tiskere. So you'll hear it there. And I'll sing that whole line in total. Ni fo sing fein on tiskere, on tiskere, on tiskere. And the first half of the second line is the same. Ni fo sing fein on tiskere. Mar bien she fluch go vaste. Mar bien, bien, bien she fluch go vaste. That whole line. Ni fo sing fein on tiskere. Mar bien she fluch go vaste. So those two lines together. Ni fo sing fein on tiskere, on tiskere, on tiskere. Ni fo sing fein on tiskere, mar bien she fluch go vaste. Okay, so that's verse two. Let's move on now to verse three. And you'll find in this song there is quite a lot of repetition in terms of the, the lyrics which is great, it'll mean that you can practice and practice as you're going through each verse. So the next verse, she's going to move on and tell us about her second candidate and why she doesn't want to marry him. So, ni fo sing fein, like what we had in the last verse, ni fo sing fein on ta lur in. On ta lur in. And a ta lur in is the little tailor. So, ni fo sing fein on ta lurin, on ta lurin, on ta lurin. And again, first part of the second line. Ni fo sing fein on ta lurin, bien colagrifin, 
on glor air. I'll say that once more. Being color griffin on glor air. And what that means is, again, it's the reason for why she does not want to marry the tailor. Being color griffin means that he would have um, pins and needles in his legs from being kind of bent over the bench all day, sewing clothes and, and making clothes for his customers. So that's why she doesn't want to marry him. I did say that she was very picky. So let's try and say that. No, sorry, you can, you can go back over, listen again, as I said, pronunciation is key here. So really make sure that you have it written down phonetically as you hear me uh, saying each, each word. So again, the ornamentation is the same in this verse as it was in the previous verse. So it should make it a little easier for you. And again, you can practice um, that little bit of ornamentation that you have already. So, ni fos and fein on tolurin, on tolurin, on tolurin. So once more, again, the word fein and on tolurin. Ni fos and fein on tolurin, on tolurin, on tolurin. Ni fos and fein on tolurin. Bien colour griffin on glor air. Bien colour griffin. Okay, so the second part of that word griffin. Bien colour griffin on glor air. And just in terms of the phrasing of that second line, you kind of have to break the line in the middle. Ni false and fain on tolurin. Bien colour griffin on glor air. So there's a small, tiny little break there. Not even enough time to get a breath in, try and get in one breath. Um, but you'll hear just a little kind of stop. So let's try those two lines together. Ni fo sing fain on tolurin, on tolurin, on tolurin. Ni fo sing fain on tolurin, bien colour griffin on glor air. Okay, so you can practice those two verses now and in the next lesson then we're going to finish on the song and recap it. I'm going to teach you the last two verses of the song and then we'll go over it in total. <laughs> 